Hello. The universe operates on patterns and everything in the universe operates on the same patterns, just the scale changes. And the same thing is with our psyche, with our psychology, so to speak. And uh, each object, physical object in the universe has certain magnetic field and power of attraction. So uh, we also attract people to our life in patterns and that's how our brain and our mind works. Uh, basically we attract people by, you know, giving off the vibes that we, that our emotional state, current emotional state indicates. And the way we attract people to our life is to basically realizing uh, is to kind of like to wake us up basically to to you know to bring people sort of people to to your life that will shake you up that will wake you up and not necessarily in a easy way let's say so plenty of triggers emotional triggers and stuff like that that means that you are you are growing you are if you let yourself obviously go go through that, uh, you know, through that gate, let's say, uh, that means you will grow because that's uh, your inner being, your soul just wants to realize itself, wants to get to know itself through this physical vessel that the body is. And the mind is kind of like a guide in this reality, but this is like a drunk guide, which uh, we just thinks about uh, it's next uh, drink and next fix you know so that's that's what the ego mind is uh, ego mind can be good for for using it for you know manifesting things for getting things done but if we, we start trusting it then we, we're just gonna be keep repeating the same thing all over again because the mind mind uh, ego mind doesn't want to change ego mind is set uh, let's say it's like a set personality which never wants to evolve because it finds evolving uh, scary. It it thinks that uh, it perceives evolving as a, as its death because that's what it is. Uh, every time we evolve, we have to kind of let go of some part of ourselves. But wh how it comes? Uh, what's got to do with emotions? So uh, when we when we let's say hold on to uh, something that happened in the past uh, then we still have this emotional charge connected to that event in our body and when a similar situation which life will present us with uh, definitely if we haven't worked through that if we haven't worked through that situation which happened in the past we are not aware of why that happened what, what was the reason of that and what was the lesson from that then life will present us with the similar situation just with different guys yeah with you know someone someone else it's not going to be my mom or my dad is going to be my partner or my friend or or someone new that i meet and will present me with the same situation uh, if i haven't worked uh, through that if i haven't become self-aware when it comes to that emotional charge so that's how we attract people uh, by basically putting out our emotional energy to the world and we match those people who need something uh, on energetic level from us and we need something from them and the whole game is all about basically self-awareness about universe realizing itself through uh, infinite lens of uh, projections uh, we which which we are each of us and not only us but animals uh, plants uh, unanimated projects everything in the universe so uh, it's uh, it's kind of like you know giving a uh, teeny tiny task to to each of the of the physical uh, items or, or bodies uh, to bring the information back to the source to 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 realize itself but uh, yeah and uh, and as i always say it's you know it's good to when we have when we find 
uh, when we recognize the emotional pattern we hold on to in our body, it's good to just breathe. <sighs> Take five to ten breaths. And then when you feel that your body is kind of like in a more relaxed mode, then you can ask your body what, what is this feeling, uh, you know, to get clear what exactly that feeling is. And next question would be, after a few more breaths, what this feeling reminds me of uh, from the past? What, what is the, you know, what story I still ho hold on to? who I feel helped me in the past or um, something like that and and why why now when certain people come to my life or certain event happen events happen certain situations I feel this similar uh, emotional charge in my body you can then creatively express it either sketch it journal on it create a story using uh, yourself as a character or using someone else uh, as a character to to kind of like uh, a little bit to dissociate from the emotion step aside and just see it from more like from bird's eye view and uh, yeah so there, there are ways create creative ways that we can work with emotions and if you want to know more then then leave me a comment and i'll be happy to reply all the best, see you in the next video, peace.